What do you think actually happened to the Boeing whistleblower? A bad system will always defeat a good man. He fell down an elevator shaft, onto some bullets. Window C. He was a whistleblower who got disconnected from all social and support networks because of his work against an American institution. He wasn't directly killed by Boeing, but was left out because of his problematic existence. I got downvoted on another post for my theory I thought Boeing errant so stupid to kill a whistleblower. A staff member who was sacked due to this coming out could be seeking revenge that's the only thing I can think of. Death. Let's ask Karen Silkwood. All whistleblowers need protection, this is heinous. Everyone would suspect Boeing killed him if he wound up dead, but Boeing would think that everyone else would think that they would think it's obvious Boeing killed him which is why Boeing wouldn't kill him and that's what they want you to think. Suicide, as people close to him mentioned he was mentally distraught. Boeing murdered him, probably made an unpaid intern do it. ID say 30 chance somebody from or hired by Boeing actually pulled the trigger, 70 chance they didn't, but directly and deliberately contributed to the mental health crisis that caused him to kill himself. But that's a wild ass guess. We did it Reddit. S. Oh, but surely he simply shot himself and then hid the guns. Does it really matter? Either he killed himself or he was murdered. Either way there is no real consequence for anyone except him and his loved ones. Corporations get richer and he remains another small tragedy for humanity. It's fucked up no matter which way you slice it. It doesn't even have to be Boeing. There very well could be a heavy investor or someone extremely leveraged that would not tolerate a hard financial hit. If it looks like he died and there was no obvious injury or reason for it, I think he died of something stress-related. I am a whistleblower in my previous workplace. The experience has taken everything related to my career away from me, and I've had to start again elsewhere as of January, the cost includes my marriage. I blew up a long and successful but stressful career for safety, which we didn't have. And you haven't heard of me, it's stressful, it's impossible to describe how stressful. The Boeing whistleblower was reasonably known, I don't know his state of health, but he was under a lot of stress. When you do what he did, anytime something you blew the whistle about eats at you because you didn't or couldn't stop it. You don't do it for the notoriety, you do it because you want to prevent a safety failure. So I'm guessing his stress was magnified by the inevitability of a fatal failure, with the recent non-fatal failure a reminder of that. With that in mind, dying around the same time as an event looks suspicious, but makes sense. I think it will be natural causes, and I think it will have been the stress of it all. I don't envy him. Death by whistleblowing. Murdered, clearly. The guy got clipped.